Hello, this is Tony Hiller from Visitech.ai. Up-and-coming atmospheric scientist Chris Martz asked me a question. He wants to plot the average number of days above 95 degrees Fahrenheit at all United States historical climatology network stations with at least 100 years of data. You can't currently do that for all of the United States because there's too many data points, but you can do it for individual states. Let's go to app.visitech.ai and see how it's done. This is what the screen looks like for subscribers. I'm going to issue a series of commands by clicking on the scroll wheel of the mouse, speaking into the microphone, and then clicking on the scroll wheel one more time when I'm done talking. Indiana temperatures. The map on the right shows all 36 United States Historical Climatology Network stations in Indiana. But we only want to look at the stations with a 100 year long record. So I'm going to issue another command. Required range 1920 to 2020. So now we're just looking at the 20 stations which are active in both 1920 and 2020. Now I just want to look at the temperatures over 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. Graph minimum 95. Now we're looking at all 16,090 daily maximum temperatures over 95 degrees in Indiana recorded at those 20 stations with a 100 year long record. It's pretty easy to see that the hottest temperatures in Indiana were much higher and occurred more frequently prior to 1960. What Chris asked for though was the annual count. So let's issue that command. Annual count. This generated two graphs, the total count and the percent of days above 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The total count can be misleading because there can be a different number of stations reporting during a given year. So I'm going to X out the total count. Now we're just looking at the percent of days over 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to reset the zoom. And I want to look at this as a bar chart. Bar chart. Now you can see very clearly that the typical percent of days above 95 degrees Fahrenheit in Indiana prior to the year 1960 was much higher and peaked in 1936. During the year 1936, almost 11 percent of the days in Indiana were over 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty astonishing. To put this in perspective, during last year's heat wave, less than 1% of days in Indiana were over 95 degrees. If we go to NOAA's state climate summary for Indiana, we can see the exact same thing as I just showed you. Hot temperatures in Indiana were much more common prior to the year 1960. The New York Times made an interactive web page how much hotter is your hometown than when you were born? I entered Bloomington, Indiana and said I wanted the graph to start in the year 1920. The New York Times responded with, our data set goes back to 1960. And then they said, by the end of the century, models show that there could be a lot more of these hot days. It's pretty easy to see why the New York Times hit all the data before 1960 because it completely wrecked their story. Indiana was much hotter prior to the year 1960. The New York Times deceived their readers by hiding critically important data, and then the other half of their deception was making claims based on models which go the exact opposite of what the historical record has shown. If a model can't be verified with the historical record, it is propaganda, not science. We were able to do what Chris needed, and we can do custom solutions for pretty much any type of data. I show a lot of weather data because it's a popular topic and easy to understand. 
but our goal is to make this ubiquitous for all kinds of data. Using Visitech, it only took us a couple minutes to solve a very difficult data problem. If you have a custom data need, please contact me at tony at visitech.ai.